Hello, I'm Mr. Chabri. We're going to continue battling. Um, I decided we'll go ahead and battle these fishermen. You know, why not? There's, there's got to be a good Pokemon for us to, to at least see on this route. Yeah, and uh, Magikarp here is not much of a threat. But it's just annoying that, you know, we're seeing Magikarps at this point in the game. If I see another... I'm, actually, I'm just going to go into Taffy and Thunderbolt everything. I don't know why they give them Magikarp. We're, like, so late in game and... We're still facing magic carps. And I think that's kind of a problem with Sinnoh in general. Is that like every fisher route, for some reason they they want to give them magic carp. I don't understand that. Alright, a T-bolt. Nice. Alright. And we'll just um Rimmeraid. I I'd like Boudicca to take some of these out. I thought we'd at least see a Finneon. Finneon is one of those interesting Pokemon. Um, I mean, there's not much to it. But it's basically the uh, fish Pokemon that is native to Sinnoh. And there's Finneon. That's, that's the main thing I wanted to see from these fishermen. It's actually a good idea to try to at least encounter every one of the Pokemon. It's actually a good idea. That way you can actually open it up in your Pokedex and find them. Uh, but Finneon is not that much of a threat anyway. Uh, it evolves into Luminion. Um, and I feel like Luminion... I mean, I don't have its stats open, but I feel like it's more of a bulky po or at least it's often used as a bulky Pokemon if it's ever used at all it's one of those Pokemon that just doesn't get much usage because there's so many things that actually does the things that it does decently there's a lot of things that do it way better uh, we'll just skip these fishermen and we'll battle this tube girl here She's going to have a Rimmeraid, okay. My hope is that Boudicca eventually learns a move like Night Slash. And it might not, actually. It might be like a Heart Scale move where we have to remind it to it, you know. I'm stunned. Yeah, but the good thing is that a lot of these trainers only have one Pokemon rather than a whole bunch. But yeah, we've got another battle here. And there's actually a uh, item. There's an item above us, so we might check that out. Well, this guy's got a Feebass. We'll go ahead and draw low, low sweep that thing. Boudica really pulling through for us. Alright, Machoke. I'm going to actually stay in and do the switcheroo. We'll get some experience off this Machoke. <clears throat> but it's obvious it's going to go for a fighting type move to try to, you know, do a lot of damage to us. We'll go ahead and switch into Jean of Gaunt. And it's trying to low sweep us as well. Okay. And I see what you're trying to do, buddy. We'll go ahead and cycle cut this thing. Nice, nice. And Boudicca is about to level up. Um, I'll just go ahead and let Catherine take care of this thing. Because um, Gastrodon's got enough bulk, it can live a lot of things. So we'll just let Catherine... Even though Catherine's already kind of far advanced from the others. 
we're, we're just gonna have it come in here. And Giga Drain. item up here, which we can grab with the use of cut. We'll go ahead and grab it. And then we'll make our way into Sunny Shore, which we should be right there on. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and grab this. It's a Carbos, okay. And now that we've got the Carbos at night, you can battle the officer. But you can't battle him during the day. And here we find some really red-haired guy. And this is actually Flint. He's actually one of the uh, Elite Four. The Fire-type Elite Four, which... Um, if they use the team from Diamond and Pearl, you're going to see that uh, he's just fire type in name. That's because in Gen 4, Sinnoh did not have that many uh, fire types. I'm trying to remember where the Pokemon Center is. There we go. Oh, it's down there. Okay. But yeah, this city is basically a tiered city. You've got the lower part of the city and the upper part of the city. Now that we'll exit, we'll go ahead and... Actually, if you go up here... Oh, look, this is Jasmine. She's actually from Johto. I think it's cool that she makes her return here as well. Gym leader. Oh, not the gym leader of this city. I'm a gym leader in the Johto region. Or, um, it'd be nice if you knew about the Johto region. If you don't have this, you'll be forced to go back. So, yeah. She's basically telling us, uh, don't go ahead. Go ahead and get the gym badge here before you go. Uh, you can buy stickers from here. I'm actually interested in checking this out. buy the stickers from oh you can all right here we go and basically similar stickers to what we have already got I thought I thought there'd be something mind-blowing I don't know but where are we at we'll run down this way I think the gym's actually down here. The lighthouse, okay. I think you actually do want to go in the lighthouse. Yeah, and this is, uh, uh... What's his name? Volkner? Don't learn anything. I want to have battles I can throw in. As the toughest gym leader in Sinnoh, I'm going to unleash... My whole arsenal on you. Yeah, nice. Good to know. So yeah, basically, you have to talk to him. To talk him into battling you first. Because he's... Supposedly, he's in a funk. He's sad. He's like, no one's challenging me. And he's like, okay, I'm the toughest. Like, he doesn't even hide. I'm the toughest. Grab a Thunderstone, um... We don't have anything to evolve the Thunderstone, but... And that gem... Should be somewhere. There it is, okay. 
Ah, he finally came back. I have a hunch he recognized your toughness right away. He's excited. All right. See ya, Flint. So basically, our job now is to challenge Volkner. And the puzzle's pretty much the same. So you, what you want to do is touch the little green, and it moves the gears. And you want to um, basically rotate the gears in a way that you can go ahead and make your way up here. Now, if you have a ground type, um, this should be a pretty easy gem for you. Because, of course, ground resists electric. Not only it resists electric, it's immune to electric. So, uh, they can't use any of these electric type moves on your ground type if you brought one. Um, so, that's something to keep in mind. Uh, here, I'm going to try to get some more experience on Boudica. We're going to see a charm, unfortunately. Uh, I do want to switch because, yeah, the attack drop's going to be bad. Uh, we'll go into a Lark and get a nice Flamethrower off, though. And Charm is kind of annoying. I wish we had some more, uh... Some more options in terms of, you know, moves on Boudica. But, you know, oh well. All right, we'll take it out on Pachirisu. That was pretty easy. And we can um, look up here. You can see that you want to create a bridge up there. Here. We'll turn this around until we, um, what do we do? Oh, okay, so I had it right. Uh, you want to turn this around until you can cross down here, and then you can cross this bridge that you've created. Right here, there's another one of these. And I think, it, I think it's kind of ironic. Because a lot of these trainers in, you know, the toughest gym. They're all little kids. I think that's an interesting thing here. Uh, we're going to see a payback. I mean, it could be a risk because this thing could have a fairy type move. Uh, but I think I want to see what we can do. And we're going to see an energy ball. So some of the Pokemon in here have moves based on the idea that you're going to bring a ground type. Of course, we don't have a ground type, but if we did... Uh, it would have taken a nasty energy bomb, probably went down one shot. Because a lot of ground types have more physical defense. Not so much special defense. But I think that's pretty cool if you think about it. And there's a guitarist over here. Um, usually electric type gyms are not, you know the last gym. Usually they're like somewhere in the middle in the game usually. But I think it's pretty cool that we've got a gym here. Like a, like an electric type gym which is supposed to be the toughest gym. I think that's a pretty cool idea. And Intimidate's kind of hurt us so we're going to go ahead and go into Taffy and just we're going to see what Muddy Water does. We've already seen what Slam does. Let's see what Muddy Water does. I mean, of course, it's not one-to-one -one because these are two different um, Luxios. But it'll give us a little bit more of an idea of what is more effective. Water. Okay, so yeah, Muddy Water. It still lived it. I don't know if this one would have lived a slam. But we know that the last one was one-shotted by a slam. And we'll go ahead and Muddy Water again, though. But Slam is a pretty cool move. Um, I would prefer Body Slam on this thing because Body Slam has got so much utility, but... But yeah, what we're going to do now is take this bridge, and there's this little girl here with a little Pikachu outfit. 
<clears throat> by the way I'm dressed, can you see that I'm hardcore? It's like she's cute. She's gonna start off with a Pikachu. And I, I'm just, I don't remember what Pokemon she uses, but it would be ironic if she had like Pikachu and then some crazy powerful stuff. Your Pikachu goes down pretty easy. Pikachu's not the best Pokemon defense-wise. Or offensive-wise. I still have another Pikachu. And Pikachu goes down pretty easy. Unfortunately, we're going to get static. Or paralyzed. And another Pikachu. Okay. Um, but I think we'll be fine. Um, if we need to, we'll have we've got some potions and uh, paralyzed heals we'll use. I just want to go ahead and take out all these Pikachu's with Boudica. Yeah, she's gonna have four Pikachu. Okay. Great. I thought I thought you know it'd be cool. She has like a bunch of Pikachu. And then she throws, like, a, uh, I don't know, what, what, what would be a crazy, Electivire or something, I don't know. A little Taffy and Muddy Water, so Boudica doesn't go down. But yeah, it seems to be the idea of hers, she paralyzes you and then Electro Balls. Which isn't a bad strategy, I mean, this thing's got agility, so it's, it's not a bad strategy. But yeah, we'll just muddy water as it goes for another Electro Ball or another Agility. So yeah. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me, Taffy? Come on, Taffy. Come on, Taffy. You got this. Still doesn't do, do much because of how good our special defense bulk is. Oh, thank you, Boudica. Oh, you want to learn agility? Oh, well, that's not really a move that we need. I'm being serious. Don't laugh at me. I mean it. That's adorable. Um, and I don't want to split this up into two episodes, but I think that's what we're going to do. Because of how long this gym seems to be, so... We'll go ahead and heal up, and we'll end this episode here. If you like this, thumbs up, subscribe. I will see you in the next Pokemon video.